How do you make a house a home? That's the topic that we're going to be talking about today. I'm still here with the lovely Angela and she's going to walk us through this topic. Let's talk. <laughs> So the year is coming to an end and many people are planning for, you know, the new year. How do we make our houses feel like homes? I'm here with Angela. Angela, I'm so happy to have you here. I'm excited to have you here. First of all, you guys, I'm in her lovely space and it's beautiful. So tell us, how do we make our houses homes? Because people keep throwing around this word, eh? Make your house a home. What does that even mean? Yes. Yes. Um. Thank you, Lisa. I'm happy to be here. My name is Angela Mirembe. I'm a doctor, a wife, a mother, and I love homemaking. Mm. I'm also the proprietor of Jolly Bloomers. We are home management service, training nannies, uh, making meal plans, delivering low calorie meals for people who want to lose weight. And I'm also part of a very exciting venture called Fab Home Fairies with right. uh, yeah, two other ladies, Naila Nambichigozi and Faith Nabagala. Mm -hmm. Faith is an etiquette coach. Naila loves homemaking. She has the most beautiful towels, bed sheets, anything that makes your space even more beautiful. Okay. They are amazing mm. at changing homes. Naila is excellent at organizing. Faith can come and turn your wardrobe around. Yes, so all those things that you're keeping clutter and mm. what. Yes, so uh, under Fab Home Fairies, we help you improve your home experience. Your home is your heaven. So yeah. yes, we help you enjoy your homes. Mm. Yes. So we do bridal showers, corporate events, um, basically any group of women looking to learn about their homes. Perhaps we can even speak to the men. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah, Cause sometimes you find husbands saying, ah, are you wasting money? We don't that need is that. That's the problem that we face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. yes. So uh, our homes are our heaven. So how do we make them feel that way? Yes. So um, when, when I was uh, still a young girl, mm. I loved reading Saturday Vision for the one reason that, you know, there was things about homes and, mm. you know, I had time to read the newspaper. Surprisingly, I can't read the newspaper anymore. Now. <laughs> yes, anymore. But yes, um, I loved seeing things to do with home. You know, there were always tips and I was like, hey, when I get married, I'll get that kind of thing. Mm. So funny enough, before I spent about two years collecting things for my house when I would get married. I wow. was not yet even engaged, I think, or was I? That was anyway. in faith. <laughs> yes, in faith, yeah. So I collected a few things here and there. I had sisters who would send, who would send clutter mm. uh, from abroad. They're like, ah, I'm getting rid of this. And I'd be like, oh, this kind of thing is cute. Mm. Me give it be? to me. Me give it to me. So, you know, I would collect. I collected Mpola Mpola. By the time I was getting married, like really I had collected so many things wow. yeah, for my home. Mm. So, um, you know, you need to think, have a theme for your home. Eh? Mm. Sometimes you are so tempted to buy whatever we see. Everything, everything that's yes. nice, you get it. A golden mirror, you buy. Uh -huh. A golden chair. Yes, mm. then you also want to add a, a silver thing mm. and, you know. Wooden. So, yeah, uh -huh. so have a theme. Eh? Mm. If your theme is African, go with that. But then now, I tell you, you have an African picture here. Then I tell you, you have some... I don't know, is it called contemporary? Like eh. some other thing, thing yeah. eh, that's, you know, have a theme. And then also, Banangi, our children's alphabet charts. You people, that don't is put not them up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we should yes, end. yes, those chats say you find children's classwork is also on the wall. Banang on the fridge. Yes. So, okay, if you want to inspire your children, maybe their work can be in the room, but mm. you know, have some car order. Remember, your, sp your home is also your haven. It's your space where mm. you come to rest and, mm. you know, and by the way, COVID even showed us why we mm. really need to care about our homes. A friend told me that... Um, in the U.S., companies that sell home stuff really sold during mm. COVID because that's when you were home and you're realizing, mm. Mm. that's oh, the yeah. ah, that chair is, the you didn't notice the chair is torn. Yeah. Like, hey, but these curtains, really, what were we thinking <laughs> yeah. when we got them? Yes, mm. so um, put that energy into your home and, mm. yeah. Okay, so I'm hearing planning. You need to plan. How do you want your home to look like? Yes. I think Pinterest gives us very good ideas yes. so people need to put in effort in plan for the home and home things honestly are expensive chairs yeah. are as for curtains eh? <laughs> yes. so i think don't rush it yeah like 
Now I've come to Angela's home. I'm seeing so many nice things. I'm like, uh-huh, let me buy, let me buy. No. I think plan. Yes. Have a list. I think you call it a wish list. Yes, mm. have a wish list. Mm. Have things that are, you know, I really need this. And mm. then the, you have things that are like, mm, maybe, maybe not. Mm. You know, like that kind of thing where you feel like, okay, I'll just be spoiling myself mm. if I get it. Mm. Yes, so have a list and find out the prices. Mm. And then, you know, um, maybe there's a, an idea that you want, you know, so you could go to your friend's house that has that thing that you like. Ask her about it. You know, I think sometimes people say women never like saying, where they got their things but but why yes. why are you hiding Those, yes. all of us have a nice home guys please don't be stingy yes so mm. um get some tips from your friends but then also you must be cognizant of the fact that mm. our like our homes are different our pockets are different yeah. so you know as you're getting inspired by your friend tailor mm. it to, to you yeah to you mm. Mm. okay that's nice to know mm -hmm. we yes. need more tips more tips yes and then the other thing is um you know you realize as everybody's putting their home together everyone wants a big home they want mm. big windows they yes. want you know a big space like, story yes uh-huh nobody ever goes thinking ah me i just want some mediocre stuff we all want the best within our means mm -hmm. eh? now if you're thinking of building a very big home how are you going to maintain this home you know mm. remember you're not employing people from cleaning companies you even find people who work in cleaning companies also are might some might even be terrible mm. the worse than the helps that you have at home eh? mm. so what's your maintenance plan, plan. you know you find that we, you've built this big home uh -huh. and you need like seven house helps to yes. clean it. And then you're there saying, ah, me, house helps, uh -uh. Mm. I only need one. One is mm. enough. But you know, you have a compound, you have upstairs, dogs. you have downstairs, you have dogs, you have four children. Mm. Like, you know, think about who is going to, to maintain, take, to take so care. So your home now, after building this beautiful home, now it begins frustrating you. Yes. You don't even want to go back. You're like, ah, uh -huh. the yaka is too much. Ah, yes. this is not. Mm. Yes. And then, you know, set a standard for the kind of home that you want. You know, sometimes you find people saying, ah, Bananga, the maid I have now is so dirty, mm. you know. So you're like, Munange, now the house is dirty. It's not the help that sets the standard, you know. It's you. Yes, you set your standard and you're like, okay, this is what I want my home to look like. Anybody that I'm going to employ must mm. fit within my expectations. You mm. know, if you're not meeting my expectations, then you honestly cannot work for me. Mm. And then while we look at... Um, setting our standard we also have to maintain you know there's this monster called peeling paint i don't even know what it is but yeah is it many, in the building? yeah there, there are so many people struggling with that mm. i struggle with it as well mm. and recently a painter told me he has a solution for it i'm waiting to see hey, he has not yet told you the solution no he's going to do some work and hey. then I will be back to you let you us. know. Yes. <laughs> because almost everyone's home is peeling. I don't yes, know. Yes, so mm. there's that peeling and then you tell your husband, ah, we need to paint. He's like, but we just painted, mm. you know, why must we paint again? Mm. So there's always that car thing of hey, hand down maintaining. Like, you know, some people just want to wait for that thing to be falling. Yeah, everything is so bad. That's yes. like, and I think the challenge we have, husbands, are uh, stopping us from making houses. <laughs> <laughs> Because you tell him, we, we need some new curtains. Mm, but these ones are okay. Meanwhile, when visitors come and the house is not, eh, they don't look at the husband, yes. they look at the, at the yeah. wife. So what tip do you have for us there? Should we save our own company? <laughs> No, we should not serve our own, uh -huh. our own company. We mm. should do it together. You know, mm. talk to him and show him. Uh, one of that's one of the arguments I have often mm. with my husband about mm. maintenance. You know, so what I do is I tell him, okay, at the end of the year, this is what we need to do. Mm. Like some things can wait till mm. the end of the year. I mean, mm. like painting. You know. Mm they can wait so i tell him this is what we are going to do i call the contractors they give us a quotation mm. then i'm like you say me i don't know how to bargain so now you bargain, you bargain. With them. Yeah, at least you've, you've got something yes. like don't speak and just say Pananga, we need to paint uh -huh. Pananga, we need to paint uh -huh. take initiative yes. get the quote and then give it to him yes and then give mm. it to him and then he can negotiate if you're going to cost share with him then th you know then that's you will cost share you mm. will discuss on how much will you bring how much will i bring mm. uh recently he told me one thing that i like about you that you know you're so keen on maintenance you know like mm. sometimes the grout is looking funny in between the mm. tiles the color has changed and you tell him you know let's call this guy to come and refill the grout and he's like really is it important yes is like it important why? and you tell him you know dudus are going to start hiding yes, in there water they are going to make a splash. home <laughs> uh -huh. 
in your home. <laughs> yes, they're mm. going to make a home in our home. So, mm. you know, we must maintain. Or maybe the tap is broken. Maybe it's the tap of outside. And then you're like, ah, mm -hmm. mm. we'll repair it whenever. whenever. So, yes, some things cannot wait. Like, you put them there for a reason. Eh? Mm. And then even the people, yes, that we employ. Uh, sometimes you find maybe you put someone a brush for scrubbing outside. Mm. Then the brush breaks along the way and the person doesn't tell Talk. you that the brush broke. Mm. So, you know, you have to keep telling these people that you have employed eh, that, you know, if we're going to scrub our papers once a week or mm. twice a week or whenever a muddy car mm. comes in, comes into the compound, like, you know, let me know. You need this brush. If the brush is broken, let me know yeah. so we can get another a new one. Yes, mm. a new one. And then also one thing we need to remember is these things undergo wear and tear. Like, you shouldn't be threatening the people you employ. If, if my not, brush breaks, I'm um, taking it off your salary. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take it off your salary, mm. you know. Eh, like And it can happen to even yes, you when you're using that It can happen thing. to you, mm. yeah. Like sometimes some things break and maybe you've put them in a wrong place. Mm. There's a time I had just bought some car condiment sauce and put it in a bad place in the drawer. Yeah. Like the place was, you know, where you're getting out something and you can easily Hit knock it, it mm. over. Yeah. So I knocked it over. I hadn't yet used it. I was so mad. So next time it's my help who knocked it over. You know, I was like, ah, ah. if it had never happened, to me you would have been like why aren't you careful mm. you know yes light bulb moment is lisa did you know that people who read books regularly live nearly two years longer than those who don't <laughs> i will not die <laughs> hey oh gastro or sofa girl reflux <laughs> And then also, by the way, we need to remember, mm -hmm. as you're putting our homes together, you can't have everything, mm. you know? You can't have everything. And also, these things are not bought. You can't go to the shop and say, today I'm going to buy chairs, I'm going to buy a dining, I'm going to yeah. buy all the decor items, mm. you know? You put it together slowly. slowly. Yes. And, you know, as you live in it, uh, new ideas keep coming. Yeah, new ideas mm. keep coming. So you keep building mm. on them. So, I think also exposing yourself. Yes. Like, don't be stuck. I mean, I don't know those things. Mm. Like, exposing yourself. Yeah. Go to other people's homes. See what yes. is nice. Don't just be in your own kababo. Yeah. Because you'll not improve. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can also say you'll work on uh, room by room. Eh? Mm. Maybe you'll first put the living room together. Mm. Then yeah, you see what is it that I need for the living room. Mm. Then next maybe you'll say, okay, I'm going to do the bathroom. Mm. Or I'm going to do the children's room. Mm. You know, slowly. Eh? Yeah. And yeah. I think if you can't do, you know, some people we don't have that creativity, that can mm. add, you can hire someone, I think, yes. to come in and help you spice your space. Actually, I just want to let you guys know that you can check out Spice My Space on Instagram. She does amazing work. She helps you change up some interior things, make your home like yeah, spicy, like don't keep it the same. Like maybe mm. now it's, I think seasons also, if it's Christmas, you can change like cushions and make them Christmas yes. themey, yes. you know, and things like that. I think that can also mm. help. Mm. That's true. And then while we're working at making our homes nice, for those of us who have children, you know, let's teach our children what what it means to live in a nice home. You know, mm. how do we want our homes? Some people can tell you, Munangemi, my children are so creative. They love writing on the walls. <laughs> they are geniuses. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are such geniuses. You will find them drawing pictures, you know. <clears throat> then, oh, they will be jumping in the chairs like your mm. child jumps from here to mm. there. And, you know, you're like, oh, my goodness, my, my son is Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Kombe, it's not supposed yes. to, you know. Then you go visiting somewhere mm. and eh, your child is really Very looking pity. like a menace, mm. eh, like, you know, destroying things. Mm. And maybe the people you've gone to visit don't really understand that this is how a genius is. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have geniuses. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they don't have geniuses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that's key, so, teaching your children mm. to treasure things. Because another challenge that we face is you want to bring your nice glass mm. Ka thing, eh? yes. But then you feel like, I'm going to bring it and then it will break. Yes. So I think teaching your children that, please, this is mommy's thing or this yes. is your home. We love it. Don't break it. Be careful. So yes. they are aware of those uh, things. So you can also have a nice home. Yes. We can't have white chairs because oh, children and things like that. So we can teach them. Yes. Though, okay, of course we are cognizant of the fact that there's an age where it might be impossible mm. to speak. I have a six-year-old a four-year-old and a two-year-old. Mm. So the first two know what mommy wants. They know mommy does not allow you to write on the walls. They catch you. Yes. Actually, the one child who attempted the, 
the baby. Mm. The other two came running. Mommy, mommy, come <laughs> and see what she has done. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they mm. reported. And you know, it was a concern of the entire family that mm. how could you do this? Mm. Yes. So they will try. Our children will push your boundaries, but mm. you must be consistent with your message. Mm. And then, of course, break a body, you know. As they are exploring the environment, it's inevitable. So maybe you'll decide that for this season, mm. I won't have the breakable deco, but it still doesn't stop you from having deco. There's like a flower that I have at my dining. Of mm. course, it's a plastic flower in a plastic bowl because the baby broke the yeah, first the real one. Yeah, the real one. <laughs> mm. Yes, and you know, she's always picking flowers out and it's also disorderly. So my husband is always saying, you know what, this flower of yours looks so untidy right mm. now. Like, why don't you yeah, get rid nice. of it? Mm. Yes. But, you want but I'm like, like yes, flower. let her learn that mm. she's not supposed to, you know, keep poking at it. And with time, by the way, they get used to the thing and mm. even stop trying. But mm. you know, if you just let them be, well, even the help will say, ah, their mother doesn't stop them. Who so am who I am to I? stop mm. them? Yes. Tearing your chairs, you know, you go and buy your chairs and mm. then you hear the child came and cut them with a pair of scissors. Like, really? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. How about, you know, in making our houses feel like home, it's also how people receive, like when they come, how they feel. Yes. Yeah. So, yes, it ties in a bit of hosting. Like people say your home should always be ready to receive guests. Like yes. people should not always be saying, giving you one week yes. notice. Eh? Yes. Like how do we also keep maintaining it to ensure that it's always looking nice? Yes, so the people that we employ, we must set a standard for them. Have a, have a routine. routine. You know, have a routine. Tell them maybe... Tuesday is windows. And how do you clean a window? You know, you'll find the person will tell you, ah, you only clean this part that's inside the mm. house. But you know, even the outside of the window, yes, yes, must also be cleaned. Or someone will think, maybe I only clean the burglar proofing. But you know, you can also, you need to clean the glass mm. of the window. Mm. So have a routine on what things are done when. One thing I always tell my helps is, if you do something consistently, you'll find that it's even easier mm. to do. You get but, used. Yes, you get used. But if you're waiting for dust to first accumulate for like three months, eh? it becomes harder yes, to scrape it, be, it off. Yes, eh? it becomes even harder to scrape it off. So have a routine mm. and orient the people that you're employing on this routine. And also, by the way, employ the correct workforce for the work that you're demanding. That's you true. know, sometimes you have such a big house and you want to employ one person. Or, or you have one person. That one person, she's the one doing dogs, she's the one mopping, she's the one with the children, she's the one, of course yes. the home is going to be, however strong and mighty she is, eh? yes. she will not manage that yes. work. Some mm -hmm. things will always give, either uh, the children, will, and the children by the other ones who are usually neglected, mm. because you know she knows you will come and see that, ah, this place is dirty, mm. you know, but you won't be able to tell that maybe your children did had to eat. watch TV the whole day or didn't <laughs> eat, yeah. yeah, usually they are the ones that are neglected, mm. so as you're thinking of your workload, make mm. sure that you're employing the correct workforce. Wow. You guys, let me know in the comment section um, how other tips, what other tips do you have to make your house feel like a home? Yes, another thing Lisa is, you know, we need to budget for our homes. Uh, mm. Recently, a friend of mine, Carol Agava, mm -hmm. developed an Excel sheet that is amazing you know you can put all your supermarket things in there mm. you can put all your market stuff in there by the way even if you're running a business that's uh, grocery based or whatever so you track your things in mm. the excel sheet maybe you can say i'll go to the market once every two weeks mm. you know because you also don't if you're a person who knows your income monthly, you can plan, you, can track. you know. Yes, you can track and you can plan. Instead of going to the market every day on your way from work, you're passing by Banana. the market. Uh -huh. Boboya. Boboya. Yes, mm. yes. So um, you can say, I'll buy every two weeks. After you buy, you go to your Excel sheet and write, how much have I spent, you mm. know. And how does that help us? Well, that helps you even be more organized, mm -hmm. you know. And this business of your living home, then they tell you, ah, there's no that, bread. Uh -huh, there's no bread. The children's banana is finished. <laughs> About what? You know those things. So it helps you. And it mm. even helps you track your finances. Mm. So you can say you'll go to the market once every two weeks. Mm. And when you buy your things, store them properly. You know, separate mm. them. Put the carrots alone. Put the pineapple, green the green pepper alone. And, you know, things like that. Even meat. You can say, I'm going to go to buy my meat 
once a month. Mm. So when you buy it, you'll put it in different portions according to how you're going to cook Don't it. Don't mix mix. Yes, uh -huh. and then so that when you're defrosting, you're defrosting only the amount that you're going to cook, mm. you know, and label as well yeah. after you've bought, label it. You know, you might tell someone today, okay, we are going to cook goat, and the person gets out beef. Mm. And the truth is, frozen goat and beef they look really alike. Look alike. Mm. So, yeah, mm. you can label. Mm. And then, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. That's a nice tip, guys. Budget, budget, budget. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then also, let's, you we can plan to buy gadgets. You people, gadgets are not a waste of money. They're here to help yes, us. They're, <laughs> <laughs> they're here to help us. You know, those things of Emele Yokuga Steoma. <laughs> those people who say. <laughs> When go is a washing machine, they don't get clean. Yes, mm. you know, there are things that make even using the washing machine easy. There are sprays that are pre wash sprays, you just spray on the collar, mm -hmm. and all that cheap brown dirt gets off. Mm -hmm. Or you spray on the cuffs, and mm. you know, the brown dirt gets off, and you put in the washing and machine. And it does the job. Yes, even mm. looking after your cooker. Eh, people really keep crying about their cookers, mm. like there are cockroaches in there. Mm. You know, you've just bought your cooker, and the cooker is really looking so terrible there are sprays there's a spray called mr muscle kitchen mm -hmm. you just spray it on your cook at the end of Guys, the day i hope you're writing mr yes, muscle yes yes spray it on your cook at the end of the day and use like a cloth eh? don't use the green square which is going yes. to Scrub. remove all the yeah. mark mm. all the markings from your cooker yes mm. so let's get things that you know make our lives easier wow guys for me that's a tip for me mr muscle i'm going to look for it <laughs> i hope you guys are learning it we are always learning, like always look for opportunity to learn. This is it. So another thing we face, like us especially who have children, hmm? mm. you're at home, you know, your home is looking okay, but then you have kids mm. and then they're playing from the sitting room like all the toys are there, okay? Mm. So how do we kind of manage that? Yes, so um, I think depending on the size of space that you have, mm. we need to have designated areas for our children to play, mm. you know, create a space for them where that's where they will play from mm. you know their toys will be kept somewhere neatly and teach them also how to clean up after themselves that's eh? very key yeah yes. because after people uh kids play and then uh, they leave their toys anyhow yeah meanwhile they are calling the help you come and do it uh -huh. yeah teaching yes. kids to pick up pick up after themselves is very important yes mm. and you know find boxes in which you can keep their toys eh? you don't have to just litter them everywhere some are in behind a the tv aha they are in a cavera <laughs> you know there are mm. those nice clear boxes that are sold even in chikubo mm. you know you can go get those and mm. put your toys in there if you're planning to build your house and you're hoping for children this make a play area for mm. them you know make a space for them where you can put their toys yeah you guys play areas are not only for bazungu please designate some area for play yeah you guys i've learned so much and i'm going to implement it eh, because i need to make my house feel like a home thank you so much angela for being here you've given us so much to think about you guys let me know in the comments how do you make your house feel like a home my name is lisa kusima and as always i'm here to inspire <laughs> <laughs>